Hello and welcome. Come on in. I'm getting ready to do just a short reading for the midweek. Let you know what the energies are going to be like. That way you can kind of duck and dodge the, uh, the hurdles and the uh, obstacles out there. Wow. I pulled a card from the uh, Horoscope Oracle deck. And crazy, it's, it says Solar Eclipse. That's a 44 card. That's a power number. Four is the number of our divine source. That solar eclipse card is coming about. We're getting ready to go into eclipse season. We will have a couple eclipses rolling up. And it, it that card actually refers to uh, revolution. About changing and, and revolving and things coming back around into circle again. And don't they always? So whatever it is you feel like you may have missed... It's going to come back around this week. You're going to have the oppor opportunity to deal with it, whether you like to or not. All right. Asking Spirit for some jumpers here out of the other deck. All right, Spirit, come and throw me some jumpers. Sometimes they flip, fly. Sometimes they float. Thank you, Spirit, back there in the light. I appreciate your help, always. All right, one more card. There we go. This is just a midweek reading. All right, we've got the Knight of Cups. Perfect for the middle of the week. He's coming in and show us that there is some opportunity that's going to be coming about in the middle of the week. Be prepared for it. I think I have a cat hair on my... It couldn't be my hair, right? Um, but it's tickling me. But there will be an opportunity coming up about midweek for you. You're not looking for any opportunities, so you may miss it. I feel like it could be an opportunity to advance in the workplace. We have the four pinnacles, and it came up in reverse. You're really keeping a lot of things bottled up and, and close to you because that's what that little guy there in the card is. He, you know, he's got a pinnacle here. He's got it on his head. He's sitting on two. I think finances are foremost in your mind right now. And it's hard to advance financially when you think in terms of lack. Um, <clears throat> my income doesn't support that new car. Uh, I can't do that. Um, we can't give, we can't donate. We don't have the money. And that card was in reverse to tell you that your personal financial thinking is upside down. You have to one of the top millionaires, I was watching this video last week, one of the top millionaires in the world was time he was down and out and broke. He had a hundred bucks left to his name, living on the street, and he donated that money to the first person that looked like they just needed help. When you give financially to people in need, it does come back. So that opportunity might be to give to, to, to give of yourself too, not just financially, to give of yourself. We've got the uh, High Priestess card. That's all about your own personal intuition. You guys that are following me are all having increased intuition. More and more people are becoming intuitive. It's, and more of you are going to be becoming intuitive. 
it's the way mankind is going to evolve. In the next hundred years, we won't even need to have this conversation. We'll be able to carry it on telepathically. So we are evolving. That's why more, more and more of you are becoming more in tuned to what's going on around you. Let your intuition guide you. Let that first gut feel that comes up on any situation tell you how to respond. Now, we normally put that first kind of inclination right out of our mind because like, oh, that can't be. Later on, when this situation has transpired, you look back at any, any situation and you can say, I knew that. I knew it was going to happen. I knew that was coming. We have the four wands, or excuse me, four swords. And, and that is about, you have been up in your head thinking about this situation, making it worse, making a mountain out of a molehill. That The four swords came up in reverse. So I think you're, you're working on the, the healing that that normally indicates. Try is somebody that is very capable of doing a lot of things. Even though that ma magician can do anything, he would do anything. They would try to throw a, a, a little spell or a curse on you. Think of stepping into my bubble of protection. Thank you again, Spirit. And we have the Ace of Cups. Again, tons of opportunity. Now, this Ace of Cups often can indicate uh, abundance in the form of love. Wow. <laughs> Guess I didn't see that coming, did I? Um, there may be a new connection out there for you, too. Okay. That abundance dealing with love could be the family around you. That love that you get and don't realize. That's abundance. That is abundance above all. All right. One last card, and I don't know why I decided to pull it, but we have the Nine of Wands. You're putting a lot of things behind you now. You've been beat up before and gone through this scenario emotionally before. Beat up emotionally. You're a little bit tired, a little bit wore out, and no longer wanting to wage war. And it's time to let that go. Step into the light. Step. Uh, welcome in some peace and quiet for a change. All right. There you have it, you guys. Midweek reading. Hit that like, subscribe, and share buttons if you would. And you know I never leave you that I don't bless you with love and light. See you guys soon. Wow. Again, thank you, Spirit on the Light.